Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the Hovercrail Wandering Bosses spawns in the Deadlands zone. A lot of players have been looking for them and it's quite confusing, so let me explain. On ezo-hub.com in the guide section, Hovercrail spawn location, you can pretty much find the whole guide. Thanks to Zentu, the man and Eden Prime for the information regarding the spawns and so on there is basically four spawns one is in the left side of the map one on the top right and two are in the middle the way shrines if we go into the game they're called the blood pit way shrine raging coast then we have one near score shales and the last one in a charnel pulpit pretty much the location here it's very easy to find there's probably also a lot of players camping the locations so how does it exactly work first off only the top 12 players that dealt the most damage to the boss will get loot so if you go there with a tank and there's like 20 players you might not get loot because you, you probably don't deal a lot of damage on your tank that's the first thing you need to know Secondly, the spawn timer is completely scuffed. About every 10 to 15 minutes, one boss spawns. That means if the boss spawns down here, down here, and you are up there, like you will just have to wait another 15 minutes and then be lucky that it spawns up here. In my case, I was camping down here. I had to wait 40 minutes till the boss spawned. So either you actually check out the zone chat. The zone chat often actually will tell you where the bosses spawn. But if you're too slow, the boss might already be dead. Just keep that in mind. Like I had to wait for like 40 minutes because I was just camping one spot with a lot of other players. Other than that, there is not really much to it. Spawn location is the most important. The boss is pretty much, if, if there's a lot of players, they will die very fast. You can actually solo them. I made videos about all of the three bosses. It's all here. The reason why so many players farm these bosses is because you get the lead called Dagon Scalding Gibbet. We also have that one on the website, this lead here. And once you get the lead, you actually get the furnishing item called Dagon Scalding Gibbet, which is this one here, which looks pretty cool. That's it. Make sure to check out ezo-hub.com for all sorts of content. We do have the whole Deadlands stuff. You go to general game info, and then we have DLCs and chapters. Here's the Deadlands DLC. All guides are listed here, the new ones, then all the sets, furniture items, and a lot more info. If you need builds and game content, it's on augusthq.com. All socials, as well as the guide, I will put all the links in the description. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Cheers.